All right, hello and welcome back to the Primary Path Dungeon. Uh, I was using this just to get here, but I think... Uh, what would be best for this one? Let's go with... You know what, no, let's, let's use this one. Let's use this loadout for this dungeon. Why not? And my thing's about to run out, so... Boost cooldowns, not that important here. Could increase health, uh, out of like the free potions I still have. Uh, you know, let's boost lifesteal. Let's do lifesteal boosting on this one. If I recall the enemies of this dungeon, this loadout will be useful. Yeah, this loadout will be more useful. But yeah, now we're in the world, um, arena of the second of three goddesses in this world. Oh, yeah, there are three goddesses in this world. You got Kalua. Shit, how have I already forgotten her name? Stone goddess. And then there's another goddess that's still technically in one piece. And didn't get messed up at all. Such good damage. What do you mean, out of room? Yeah, I mean, attack. Oh, that's right, this thing's got piercing. Oh, I ain't got the. That should have rested. I need to take cover. I need to charge this weapon so I can use its shield. Oh shit, that's a. That's the cannon, boy! I really need my shield then, don't I? Damn it! Get out of the smoke! Deploying shield! Shit! Okay, that kind of bad. That bad. That bad. Oh, he went around the shield! I can't believe I put the shield in the worst possible spot, man. The shield went in the worst possible spot to defend me. But he wasn't a corrupted elite, so it's all good. He's all good. Should have thrown in a black hole at him, actually. That would have been better. But yeah, I put the shield in the worst possible spot there and really screwed myself. Oh, well. Ugh. Oh, well. Uh, I still don't really like the gunslinger. But there's not really anything else that goes with the shooty one. I mean, I could do... Um, the alchemist. The alchemist would kind of work. I don't need stone skin. Maybe the heal or the frenzied oh, one. Okay. Actually, the frenzied one. Frenzy, increased rate of fire, reload speed, melee, um, melee speed, and movement speed. I mean, that would work. I need to come. Uh, I need to compare the sub. Yeah, I need to compare the modifiers of the two skills. Before I can be sure of this change. It's over. Alright, so... 25 to all, 5 crits. Uh, curative effects. Uh, pick up scrap. Picking up scrap. Using a relic applies random buff. Versus... Uh, rate of fire, range damage. So, they're both 25, aren't they? Right, so the damage increase is the same, except this one increases all. Uh, five crit chance. Five crit chance. Ammo pickups reward more ammo. With the bonus off got split among teammates. Gain reload speed. Bonus is double if empty. Uh, using a relic reloads, equipped weapon increases damage. 
Uh, so I can still get the rate of... I get a bigger rate of fire buff here. Rate of fire and reload speed when I use that. And then using this increases re and reload speed. Uh, single shots become automatic. Instead of becoming fully automatic, bows gain increased crit and projectile speed. Uh, 54 second cooldown. Uh, 67 cooldown, 15 second duration, technically becoming a 25 if I remain within, so it technically lasts longer. Uh, I gain random buffs when I use it, about 60 seconds, it increases my scrap pickups, oh, chance to, when I pick up ammo. No, hold on, picking up scrap on metals has a 50 minute chance to reward ammo. Uh, curative effects apply to allies, and I gain extra resistance. Allies affected by Panacea gain. Uh, I think I'd rather use Alchemist, technically. I mean, consumable duration. Ammo reserves. Nah, alright, we'll stick with ammo. Also because it gives me the ammo reserves, which is pretty fucking nice. And it's not like I really use melee attacks anyway. So, they're pretty fucking similar. But this one gives me more reload speed when the magazine is empty, and with this weapon, the magazine is going to be empty far more often than it otherwise would be. Which is pretty good. Oh shit. Dropping shield. Taking down. It does make it slightly harder to see the enemy. I will admit. Oh, you again. Actually, if I combine it with this, I can see the enemy more easily. It also shows me where their weak point is, which is nice. Kind of gets lit up a little more. Just as my shield breaks too. Nice. And the shield is so good to have... I'm pathing. Still gotta go that way. And I gotta go that way. There's an enemy behind the door. Let's go this way first. Mm -hmm. A little low on ammo, but there's some sitting over here for some reason. Dude probably died there. Let's do a little gunslinger first. No idea what could be over this way. No idea. It's another door! I doubt I can open said door, but we'll try anyway. Nah. Alright. So there's just a big old ring. And three shortcuts, I guess. Should we die, we've got the shortcuts there. Mm -hmm. How long does that root rot last? It's like 60 seconds, isn't it? 30 seconds, oh damn. Not the best. But I mean, I can dump it if I need to. I'm in a particularly heavy firefight, I can quickly take it. Door for a shortcut there, but now we just gotta go the long way around. Uh I've got enough of that. Yeah, I know, but oh, hello. Was that a signal enemy spawn? I don't hear any movement. Maybe not. I'm not sure what that specific tone means, you know. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, big red thing. It is a temple key. Well, that's probably to the first door I saw then. That's probably requiring a key. Secret door? No, no, no secret door. Alright, let's read the key. Uh, the temple water was built to worship one of Yesha's many nature spirits. It's every detail down to the craftsmanship of every, even a single key, simple key, strive to portray the beauty of the spirit that dwelt within. Uh, Kaula was always fashion, um, fascinated by the lives of mortals and how they pursued joy across their such short existences. Uh, she would slumber for years in her temple, then wake and ask for tales of the world outside. A great honor to those present to speak with her. Sad that it is no longer possible. You'll understand why in a short amount of time. But yeah, the 
there are three sister um, nature spirits. You got the stone goddess. You've got I I believe she's a water spirit, and then we've got a nature spirit. Well, not so much nature, but more of a plant spirit. Yeah, stone, water, and plant are the three sisters. One of them got fucked up by people she taught her power to. One got fucked up by the root. And one is just chilling the soul survivor. More, well, not so much a soul survivor, depending on the way you end the DLC. Oh wow, I think I shot him in the back of the head. Good. Take a black hole. Pricks in your high ground. Oh shit, you again. All right, shields up. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. I can't see him properly. I just know he's there. Thank God for the shield against this asshole. That's it. Right, we got the Ring of the Forest Spirit. Uh, it'll be all the way down for among the ones called Ring of the Forest Spirit. Here we go. There might be enemies nearby. This ring bears a depiction of the moon rising over Yesha, tangled with the color of the blood moon essence. Although the crest is common enough, the particular coloring is rare seen, rarely seen, and often feared. The jungle kills so that it might live. Fresh um, flesh feeds soil, bones grow into blossoms. Even under the blood moon, all things remain connected to all things. I do like just lore is in items, so those who want it can just get it through items. But then you gotta know it's there, I guess. The one issue with, I guess, with, I guess, both with Dark Souls and games like this, where the dis just like lore is in items, and if you don't look at items, then you're going to be missing out on a lot of lore. Hell. Power boost. over to the big gun mostly because they lined up give me that loot quick chest oh, stick your head out well done thank you for complying aha uh -huh. I knew you were there Double taps. Let's clear this room. Clear the room. I mean, I ain't gonna use that side very often. It's strangely off-putting. Not sure why. Maybe because almost every third-person shooter game has you on the left. Compared to the right. Not to mention it defaults to the right. Oh, to the left, I mean. Alright, so that door that I can open is nearby. Shit. Your ability to dodge was foiled. And you came right at me. Uh-oh. Enemies. Yeah, there we go. But I don't hear anything big stomping around, so... Might have been all there is. Ow, shit, I got shot in the ass. Okay, I think we're good. Ooh, uh, one point that I don't need. But it gives me scrap, which is nice. 
Who doesn't love a good bit of scrap? Alright, let's uh, open the loop. Or close the loop. No, it's closing the loop. Okay, shortcut created. Door opens. Well, oh, I don't want to be in here. Bad decision on my part. More hordes. Oh, that's a bad placement of the shield, but it's kind of working. Especially when they decide to walk into the wall. Oh, crap. Big boy. Oh, no, it's that one. It's the iron prick, I think. The only way to really damage him is when he pulls his heart out. Come on, you prick. There we go. Oh boy. Man, those guys are such assholes. Like, when I first fought those guys, I had no idea how the fuck to kill them. I actually had to look it up. I mean, seriously, who thinks they'd throw their weak point at you? I mean, that's, such the, that's the weirdest combat strategy I can think of. I'll rip out my heart, throw it at you, and then it explodes. Oh, yeah. Leaving my heart extremely vulnerable to any and all potential damage. I don't know what it was. I think it was a... I never looked. I should have, but... I remembered what it did. did. No, I immediately forgot. And there she is. Barret of water corrupted by the root. Oh, that's right, tentacles. Uh, remember is the head your weak point? Probably. Shit. That's good. That's probably not gonna do much. Okay, the head is not your weak point. Nope, too early. Too fucking early. Gotcha that time. I don't remember where your weak point is. Tentacles. Oh shit, there was one behind me. Ah, shit. You suck. Fuck, I shouldn't have looked away. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Also, this loadout's probably not the best fighter, but I'll do it. I will do it. Yeah, I don't do a lot of damage to the tentacles. I mean, I think the summoner loadout is definitely the best for this one. Fuck you, you, your stupid axe.
Okay. That dealt with. I think she actually heals if the tentacles hit me. Well, that's new. I have no memory of her doing that before. Quickly eat. No memory of her doing that ability. No memory of that ability at all. Okay, what now? Oh, you're just angry. Fair. Yeah, it's too early. You got a big heal. Right, probably gonna do another tentacle run again. Tentacles. Let's do this as well. Yep. Damn it. That hurt. That hurt. Shit. Don't fuck up now. Fuck you and your stupid waves. Definitely the, not the best loadout to fight her, but it was still good. Yeah. That's you scrapped the wrong girl. Woo! I was still a good fight though, even though it was definitely not the loadout to use. <sighs> Alright, moving on. Actually had to use a consumable there. <clears throat> Although it's probably not the best consumable. It is a... It lasts 30 seconds and gives an, a little bit of... Good regen. So it's a good enough one. Alright, I hope people enjoyed that. I right, took less time than Goddess's Rest, goddamn. Uh, if I recall, I think we kind of come through this area twice because we have to loop around to the high ground. Yeah, so we go through the dungeon. Yeah, go through the dungeon. We loop around to the high ground. We... Activate. Oh, well, actually, looping around and activating the bridge will probably be the same episode with the boss fight. So, I hope people enjoyed. That's all for this episode, and I've more or less run out of time because it'll take time. It'll, it'll usually take a while to clear a hub zone, so. Hope people enjoyed. Later.